Hello, in this video it's how to take apart a Sony SVE 151J13M laptop uh, or basically how to get in to take the motherboard out. So undo the hard disk top bit, undo the memory door, take the battery out there's then some screws along here, so I think one's about here, one's there, one is there. Undo all the screws around the edge and all the other screws that you can see here. Undo the CD drive. Take out the hard disk. Uh, I would also, while I'm here, if we're taking out the, well, okay, if you're not taking out the motherboard, um, you don't need to do that bit, so I will do it later. Um, then, this front section basically should just unclip. There we go. So that's the motherboard with USB there, BIOS battery, power. So it actually looks like it's fairly modular. That power jack could be replaced and then that runs along into that socket there. That's the video cable, uh, wireless, and I guess USB for webcam maybe there. Uh, but in my case, I want to take the motherboard out because it has generate or uh, develop some sort of fault. So, turn the machine over under the keyboard. You can ping that out like that. I've already had the keyboard out, so uh, normally there's a bit of captain tape over there. But lift that, hinge that up, and then uh, pull the keyboard out. Undo, oh, actually, in fact, you can see I've had this open before because I haven't plugged the touchpad back in. But undo the touchpad with the same thing, and the, uh, the buttons up here, hinge that up, take that connector out. Flip this over. So as a screw here, screw there, screw, well, undo all these. And get that out of the way. So screw there. Undo the video cable. Again, get that out of the way, and the power cable. Then there's a screw there, with an earth strap as well, so when you put it back together, make sure you put the earth strap back. So we should, unless I've missed a screw, just be able to I'll tell you what, that thing is easier to take out. Slide that connector towards this way. And there we go. One motherboard taken out of the laptop. So the fault with this one, if anyone is interested, is the PS2, so the keyboard and the trackpad uh, just randomly stop working if you move the machine or flex the machine. 
they uh, stop working until you power the machine down and then turn it on again and they'll work again for a bit until the machine gets moved or flexed and it will go wrong. Uh, while trying to diagnose that problem the hard disk has also developed a similar intermittent fault so somewhere on here I guess there's a, a dry joint or a component that's failed or a track that's uh, that's broken and so when the, when the board gets flexed something goes wrong with it but um, Luckily on this one the processor is removable, so it's an i5 processor and I can move it to a replacement motherboard hopefully. And uh, we'll see whether that solves the problem. But that's how you get into one of these Sony computers with their strange model numbers that 